Alright, let's move on down the viewport toolbar. The next two buttons I'm going to discuss are game view mode and the lock viewport button. Now to make things nice and easy to see, let's go ahead and click the maximize viewport button which is down at the far end. Now if we take a look at this level, currently I have opened up DM Sanctuary, you can go to file open and choose that if you'd like to follow along exactly. You can see that we have all of these little actors everywhere. There's path nodes to help the AI get around, there are little sound nodes, you can see the little particle system icons. There's even blocking volumes around static meshes to keep you from bumping into those. If you want to hide all that sort of thing and get a closer representation of what the player is going to see when they're running through your level, just click the game view mode button. So you'll notice that all those actors disappear. The whole level looks a little bit cleaner now. You also get a little bit of a representation of the uh, post-process effect that's being applied to the level. This is also partially because of the post-process volume previs button, which we'll talk about a bit later. So that's really all game mode is here for. It's just a way to hide out anything you don't need to see and give you a much closer representation of what the player is going to see. You can kind of complete the effect if you also switch on real time along with it. So this looks very much like what the player is going to see when they're running around through your level. So I'll go ahead and switch that off. We'll get out of game mode. Though I do want to mention this. If I select a static mesh, currently I have the translation widget uh, activated here inside the main toolbar and I have a little move tool or translation widget that I can use to move this static mesh around. If you are in game mode, that widget disappears. So if you're clicking on things and you don't see your widget, this is one of the places where your eyes should cut to. You should quick, you know, quickly take a look up here. Now another place, just uh, not to stray too far away from the topic at hand, you could also be in selection mode, which is uh, up here inside the main toolbar. It looks like a little white arrow cursor. I just want to point both those out because both these are options that could potentially make your translation, rotation, or scale widget disappear. All right, our next button is going to be lock viewport. What this is here for is just a way to take a viewport and tell it not to move in the event of certain commands. For instance, if I demaximize the viewport, here inside the perspective view, I'm kind of out at this dock in front of the sanctuary level. And what I'm going to do is move my top viewport out there as well. So now they're both kind of out here in the same location. Now I can select one of these pillars, and here inside the top view, you can see that pillar. What I'm going to do is orient my top view so it's, he's looking right at that. Now down here in perspective, I'm going to say, let's come all the way over here back to this kind of chapel area, and I'm looking at this static mesh. Now what if I want all of my viewports to snap right here to this object, but I don't want the top view. The, the top view is exactly where I need it to be. I don't want it to move. I can use the lock viewport button to do that. And then if I move all of my other viewports, I can do this with the home key. So watch this. If I hit home, watch my upper right and lower right viewports. They all pop their locations just a little bit to get right where I want to be. In fact, to make it really obvious, I'm going to zoom into something way out here in the distance. And then if again, if I hit home, my other two viewports snap right to that location. So here, it's really obvious here in the side view. We're looking right at where we want to be. However, the top view did not move because currently it's locked. And really, that's the big deal here. It's just a way to take a viewport and say, hey, you stay still, and if I tell the other viewports to move, I want you to stay right where you are. That's all there is to it. So that's a quick look at game view mode and the locked viewport mode, and that's going to wrap things up for this video. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.